said I might get a little more leeway since he's won against four in his time. So, <laughs> Right, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, professors are, by nature, easy to um, get talking, much harder to stop talking. And uh, you, you give me about ten minutes. Um, you pointed out that I'm at, uh, one of five or four here. I detected from your opening remarks, Chairman, that actually you you count yourself to the other side. So uh, I think the first thing that I have to say is I'm fully aware that I am the skunk at this particular picnic. And I'm also fully aware that most of you are either not going to believe a word I say or possibly believe it but hate everything that I'm saying. Or even that some of you might think that I'm a, a spook myself. Well, I can assure you I'm not. I'm exactly what I appear to be. I have followed intelligence-led policy ever since I've been a student over 40 years ago. Um, I've been following very carefully what's been going on, and I, I really want to use my time, if I may, um, to, to, to put the story to you as I think the story should be put, uh, in the full awareness that um, I will upset you, that you won't, won't, won't believe me. That, so let me just begin what I have to say with, with kind of lay, laying out my stall so that you know what my beliefs are. And again, you'll have to trust me when I say these are my uh, beliefs. I believe in lawfulness. I believe that cyberspace should be regulated lawfully. I uh, believe in uh, the rule of law. I believe in... Uh, protecting our liberties. I believe in making our liberal democracy secure. I believe, too, that The Guardian has behaved disgracefully. I think Edward Snowden is um, technically a spy. Uh, the very fact that he's skunked off to Russia to be looked after by somebody who has his political opponents beaten up, murdered, who uh, has had those women, uh, those pussy riot women, one of whom's been sent off to a gulag, taken away from her child, and will or may well die, uh, according to the letter, that, the last letter that she sent her parents. I think that tells you about this man. And uh, you may say, oh, he's a whistleblower. I think that's an outrageous assertion. Whistleblowers are people like that Lisa Martin, who lost her job because she told the country how care homes were treating old people who couldn't look after themselves. That's what a whistleblower is. Uh, what Edward Snowden done as to protect his own backside is turn the Guardian newspaper into a kind of uh, global brand for people who are, in my view, engaged on a witch hunt. And that's really what that is, the, what this is. This is a witch hunt. And it, um, somebody has uh, clearly decided I should stop talking to you because my other microphones come on again. That's very good. Uh, and uh, 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 a fortnight ago, uh, I did an interview for Sky TV, uh, and it was followed up by an interview for The Times, talking to their excellent crime journalist, Sean O'Neill, well, I said that I was very surprised that uh, the Guardian was not being prosecuted under the Official Secrets Act. And I continue to believe that the Guardian should be prosecuted. What it is doing is outrageous. And the people who are benefiting from the Guardian's uh, s stories are the enemies of this country and the potential enemies of this country. And to think that um, Mr. Ball and... and uh, James Rusbridge to decide what is or what is not suitable to be published. I mean, you heard him yourself. He's not actually publishing everything. He is taking on himself, and The Guardian is taking on itself, the role of deciding what is or is not in our national security. Well, I say the people who should decide what is or is not in our national security are the people who have a lawful duty to do that. That is not The Guardian. And how this government will ever be able to prosecute anybody ever again under the Official Secrets Act, 
when they actually, you know, they send people, I don't know whether they were from MI5 or GCHQ, sent them to the Guardian offices and said, ooh, you know, you better destroy uh, your, your, the hard drive of your computer. Well, you know, my uh, seven-year-old grandchild knows that the thing about computers is not the hardware, it's what's on them. And, of course, the Guardian did exactly what you would expect, namely transfer all the data to a country where it couldn't be got hold of. So, not a whistleblower. Not a whistleblower. This is grubby. This is disgraceful. And uh, what the Guardian is doing is not, uh, definitively not, in the public interest. So, that, that's where I stand. And the final thing that I would say, as far as principles are concerned, that... In Western liberal democracies, intelligence agencies have a duty to protect liberal democracy. We saw the Security Service Act there, uh, but the provisions where, which, which places on uh, MI5 the duty to protect liberal democracy weren't shown. And protecting liberal democracies does mean protect them lawfully. And it does mean that our secret services must never be used as a form of social or political control. And they, they, are, not, they, are, they are not so used. However, we have to be perfectly uh, clear about this. There are people who want to destroy our liberal democracy. They are out there, and we have a, a, a right to be protected at them. So, what the Guardian has done has been to encourage a kind of witch hunt against our intelligence services, a witch hunt, like all witch hunts, based on utter ignorance. And uh, like all witch hunts too, it's kind of narcissistic. It allows people to smile happily and say, oh, you know, governments are, are, are really bad, they have nothing to do with us, we're, 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 we're absolutely fine. So, if I may move to the second part of my talk, what, what really are, are, are the principles here? The first thing, The Guardian, I was asked if I brought a slide along, and I, I really just brought along two, two headlines from The Guardian. You'll see this one, uh, published on the 22nd of June. How GCHQ watches your every step. And uh, there's another headline for the, the same thing. Interestingly, it, the, the idea of mass snooping is not an idea that Edward Snowden has had. The Guardian have twisted his comments to imply that he said that GCHQ was watching your every move. And we've heard it time and time again, this use of, this, 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 this phrase that there's mass surveillance. Mm -hmm. And if I just, just run you through some of the things people have said about this, um, they called it, you know, the Snoopers Charter. That's the attempt to lawfully regulate data mining. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget the government wanted lawfully to regulate the communications data mining that our secret agencies do. It was prevented from doing it by right-wing libertarian conservatives led by David Davis and people like uh, Shami Chakrabarti. And listen to them, you can get, let me just carry on. There they, you can have your, your chance. I'm not going to run away. Um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 this is some of the things. Look, Shami Chakrabarti uh, said, there's mass monitoring. The data communications bill would allow the state to record and store the entire population's web visits, emails, text messages and phone calls for no other reason than the authorities' possible future interest. The state wants to spy on you in your own home. It, it was, she said, as if each of us had the thought police in our own home. Graham Archer in the Daily Telegraph wrote, what right does a state have to snoop on the lives of others? Jonathan Friedland in The Guardian said, he talked a lot about this, the secret state is just itching to gag the press. Itching to gag the press. What did David Cameron do? He sent along a couple of men allowing The Guardian to destroy evidence that in any... Uh, any world, any culture that believed in the rule of law would have said that is crucial evidence for a court of law. It's, it is quite the other way around that the secret state is just itching to gag the press. Tim Berners-Lee in the, the internet, he says, allowing agencies to mine the data would lead to the destruction of human rights. The destruction of human rights on, on 
the internet and Dominic Raab, right-wing conservative MP, said these plans will allow state snoopers to drain the swamp with powers that are broad and invite abuse. And the final quote I'm going to give you is one from <clears throat> the uh, American talk show host, um, Glenn, whatever he's called, Glenn Beck, who says they've been tracking your purchases, they've been tracking your credit card activity, they've been capturing your phone conversations, they have your whole life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, two things come out of that. The first is that the people engaged in this witch hunt are a lethal cocktail of right-wing so-called libertarians who are lawless and narcissistic people who believe that the state is seriously interested in what each and every one of us does in our own homes or on our own computers. And the Guardian, which should know better, is fanning that and harming our uh, national security and indeed our international relations. And, and they say, oh, you know, Frau Merkel, she wants a law. The German Secret Service does exactly what GCHQ does. It's been doing it from before the First World War. And if Frau Merkel does not know that her phone was hackable, she is on another planet. And frankly, I don't believe that she has. All countries hack into data. That's what that is. As I say, Germany did it before the First World War. We've been doing it extensively. Some of you here may have heard of Operation Gold, where we hacked into uh, Soviet uh, uh, telephone cables beneath uh, Berlin. It copied something we'd done previously in uh, Vienna called Operation Silver. This has gone on since people have been communicating. The only difference is that we are increasingly communicating over the internet in digital information, which is much easier to collect. So the basic principle is not snooping on everybody. It is collecting data which can be mined in order to track some people. That's what it's about. Nobody complained. Shabby Chakrabarty has never complained when MI5 intercepted telephone calls, as it has been doing ever since it first came into existence more than 100 years ago. It doesn't complain about letters, but it's something about, about the internet. And, and, and that's why I, I feel it, this is a witch hunt. People are using words like snooping. I, I was introduced as the person who approves of surveillance, he said. Well, that is, you know, what, what, what actually does that mean, approving? Do I think that uh, people who break the law should be investigated? Yes, I do. Do I think that people who uh, engage in sex trafficking should be investigated? Yes, I do. Do I think people who trade images of child pornography should be investigated? Yes, I do. Do I think people who steal other people's identity on the internet and defraud people should be investigated? Yes, I do. That's not snooping. That's investigation. And that's why I say this kind of witch hunt hysteria that's being developed is actually a way of not sustaining the rule of law, but undermining the rule of law. Indeed, it's an American idea that the internet of all forms of communication should in some way be entirely unregulated. Now, I, I, don't, I don't want to go on because I can see from your reactions I, I, I'm upsetting uh, a lot of you. I, I believe in genuine, in genuine whistleblowing. That's not what Snowden is. It's not what Bradley Manning did. It's not what Julian Assange did. I believe that people who steal state secrets should suffer the consequences. Edward Snowden says, or implies, I mean, the Guardian probably implies, he's another Daniel Ellsberg. You'll recall Daniel Ellsberg, when I was a student, 40 years ago, revealed the existence of so-called Pentagon Papers that the American government was acting illegally in the Vietnam War. He actually gave himself up to the authorities. He didn't skulk off to Russia. 
He gave himself up to the authorities. The case against him collapsed, not because he hadn't, in fact, broken the American espionage law of 1917, but the revelations of the break-in in Watergate simply confirmed the fact that the American government was not acting, uh, under Nixon, was not acting lawfully, and that, the, that they held information about him that they didn't want to reveal. Now, my final point is, is this. There are two sorts of things you will need to think about, apart from what I've said about making democracy safe from people who want to undermine it, using the data to track a very small number of people who actually cause enormous damage. Uh, what, you, what you need to think about is the use of language, um, uh, like, like uh, mass surveillance. And the other thing that I think uh, you need to uh, consider is whether, at the end of the day, our country is safer if we have uh, intelligence-led activity that operates lawfully. And I repeat the point, our secret agencies wanted to do this lawfully, um, but they weren't, they, weren't, they weren't denied a law to re regulate it. And you said people should be shaking their head. So I think you do need to think about whether uh, you, 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 you want to have a society in which intelligence is used to make us safe, and that means communications intelligence, and it always has meant communications intelligence. There's absolutely nothing new about any of this. The scale is different, but the activity is not different. And then the, the second point, which is my final point, we've heard from everybody here, and it is the truth, that no law has been broken. No law has been broken. There's nothing that Edward Snowden has revealed which breaks the law other than his own revelations. He's the person who's broken the law. There's no evidence that the United States have, have, have broken the law. There's no evidence that GCHQ, no evidence that the Germans are doing it. Guardian hasn't broken no, the law either. No, no, there is no evidence that the law has, there's no evidence that the law has been broken. And uh, if, you, if you look at the Patriot Act, particularly the Patriot Act 2005, it makes what the NSA is doing completely legal. So it may suit you, it may suit you to believe in witches, but ladies and gentlemen, that is what you are being encouraged to do, to go on a witch hunt and not understand what intelligence-led activity is about, that it is lawful, that it should be lawful, and that the people who won't let it be lawful are a coalition of right-wing libertarians and uh, people like Shami Chakrabarti. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you very much.